Hey man, stay safe world here. You already know what's going on, man. So Yeet's album numbers basically came out for Two Alive. He basically sold 34,000 his first week. And people are saying that he flopped heavy, man. We gonna get into all that. But before we do, man, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and let's run this up. So basically, if you're not familiar with Yeet, he basically kind of like took over um, sort of like the internet, like at least in the rap world. I guess he's feeling the vibe, the, the void of like, um, like Playboy Cardi, because Playboy Cardi isn't really dropping music, so his fan base is like super cult fan base and stuff. And I guess people were surprised at the numbers being like, as I guess low or high, really of what you would expect. So like, some people were saying that he did well. Some people were saying that he did bad because of the amount of features that he had. Basically, it's like sort of a tough situation and i don't think anyone is really right or wrong but we can look at the facts of the situation so what are the facts the facts are basically this is like his second not his second album because he's dropped projects before but this is like his second like project that he dropped when he had the amount of clout that he did right now and i don't know if people were expecting him to sell like 100k or some shit like that because that's what it seems like people were expecting him to do like crazy 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 numbers and shit but I mean, like, I, I really feel like the just because you have a social media like, uh, like, hypeness doesn't really translate to music, especially now in this world. Like, that's number one. Number two, he's still an emerging artist, but we can look at it at the other side of things, man. So, like, he had features from Gunna. He had features from Young Thug. I think he had Young Ko on it too. Who else did he have on this shit? He had September's Rich, but it's like, once you step into the realm of having major features like Gunna and Young Thug, it's like, you should be personally, I feel like selling more. And on top of that, like he had, he was the most talked about person really right now. And he definitely had hits on his prior um, project and stuff like that too. And this is his first time I think releasing while signed to a major label. Niggas were saying he was independent and shit. No, he literally raps in his song that he sold, signed a deal for like a million or three million and sometimes he says, but it's like, this man is signed and he's a major label artist. So he's like the equivalent of a fucking Roddy Rich or some shit like that or whatever. And it, it's, I don't understand. I don't know if he really signed for a million cause if he did sign for a million, I guess he used all that money on features and didn't use it on like promo because he expected that he would have had endless promo really and he did have some pretty good promo like his um his album release party that he did in la was basically shut down and all his fans basically pulled up that was good promo or whatever but it's like besides that it's different than the first time around because the first time that he released uh sorry not like the first time but the last project the last project that he had I'm not sure really if the numbers added up to more than this like this is probably like his best performing project but i personally don't think that it's trending in the right direction because it's like yeah he did well and yeah he had a number one for a couple days or whatever but obviously the music wasn't up to par with like what people's expectations were because it's like his number one spot fell away like literally like a like in two to three days man and it's like yeah it's a big thing for any artist to really get like a number one spot like he should be like applauded for that but it's like the amount of like time and effort and money that this label puts into him and he's only selling 34k like corday numbers and shit when he has the grasp of the internet and a strong ass fan base just shows that his project was not good like I feel like it had bangers on it and I'm like don't get me wrong I fuck with Yeet I'm a Yeet fan I've been listening to this nigga for a minute but I'm a I'm not gonna be like a mindless ass dude that's just gonna fucking like spew nonsense and just pretend that he's doing like heavy numbers like that like the man isn't really doing heavy numbers like that he had features from Gunna and Young Thug and he's only selling 34k man like that's not even that's like Corday numbers but he has like actual relevancy you know so it's like this shouldn't be the case at all like I don't think that he should be selling like these type of low ass numbers because like the amount of like clout and hype around him and shit it's like unimaginable like i can't really imagine another artist right now that has that much of like uh like 
like just like a vibe around him that people pay attention to you know like they have their own language and stuff like that people really be paying attention to you man and it's just kind of like disappointing these numbers i feel like part of it is like he didn't have like a big ass popular song to lead up to this project because the last project he had the song get busy and that one definitely had some like um like some movement around it you know like it definitely had some movement it had people like listening to him had like a lot of shit going on around it but like this project didn't have anything really like that like he had a single with cole bennett and it was a good song or whatever but it's like i don't even really think that like a cole bennett video is gonna carry your whole project you know like it's gonna do i right, but it's like he didn't have like that track that was like a standout track that niggas could listen to and be like okay yeah this shit is it and like repeatedly listen to it over and over again you feel me like in that aspect is where i think he failed and i know this man makes good music he makes hella songs so it's like there's no excuse for that you feel me like he didn't have like a standout track that was really gas i mean like he i personally feel like he had the better songs on the project were the songs that he didn't have features on i feel like the features that he had with gunna and young doug were waste of features like i don't really feel like they were hidden like that i didn't i felt like the reason why they weren't hidden like that is they weren't like mixed right they weren't sounding right the gunna feature was not sounding right the thug feature was all right but like the the gunner feature specifically was like a waste because it just sounded crazy it didn't sound right when i played it and it sounded like he just wanted to add that shit thought it would do well but man that shit wasn't it and i know this like all his like other tracks were better than the actual feature tracks and i felt like he should have used like one of those like better songs as like a lead up single but or use something catchier man to really get those numbers and i'm not saying that his music is bad or anything his music is definitely good and he definitely did his thing but it's like man like the sales numbers you can't look at that and say that's a w this is 34 000, man which is like a dub it's like it's a dub it's a l it's not the wave like man it's not like i was expecting him to be the next superstar but he's really just lining up to like corday on Corday on an off year, man. But hey, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments and explain why you think that Yeet didn't fall off and why the Yeet isn't like fucking um this album isn't a flop. But if you agree with me, let me know in the comments. Real say say shit. You already know what's going on. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's run this up, man. Peace.